it's a pretty rainy day but not quite enough to be called a Swedish summer <laughs> clouds So today is the bass guitar day. The guitars are now tracked. Uh, I'm still doing some editing on the guitars. Uh, I'm gonna actually make a video of the guitar editing and show you exactly what I edit and uh, what I don't edit. And it might give you some insight in working with Reaper. Anyhow, so I'm gonna start tracking the bass. First off, I have to uh, just get a general decent bass tone in which I'm gonna do in a few minutes. But first, let's take a look at the bass I uh, borrowed from uh, Fredrik Linander. Let's get some focusing on that. Don't really know much about this bass, except for it's a Yamaha with the, uh, you know, bling bling gold hardware. Let's take a look down here at the body. Yamaha pickups. I don't really know much about them, but it does sound good, so uh, it shouldn't really be a problem. It's all up to me and how I play it. <laughs> I'm no bass player, but um, I certainly will try my best. So let's go. Like two years ago when I started recording, I started to realize how important new strings are. But it wasn't until uh, this album that I really understood how important they are. Because this music is uh, a bit like in the gent area uh, of the genres. The metallic sound that you want for that stuff is... Uh, yeah, a lot of it comes from new strings. So one day... I was sitting and recording and uh, I thought like, man this sounds crap. I had uh, 
a guitar chain in the Reaper that I had worked on for several hours and I just couldn't get it to sound good so I just changed the strings the sound changed it was fantastic uh, <laughs> I can't really stress that enough um, don't think new strings are not needed it depends on the music style of course uh, but if you want that percussive, sharp, metallic sound, you definitely need new strings. And that same goes for bass and normal guitar and everything, really. So do not underestimate the power of new strings.